What is this? Uh, this is a ground station. This is a rotator of a ground station. Uh, that's a network. It's a network ground station. There are many ground stations around the earth, and they all are connected through a, uh, an application, an internet application. And you can schedule jobs remotely, and these uh, will track the satellites autonomously, and uh, uh, they will uh, save the data from the satellite, and then upload it in, into a website where you can see and analyze it. This is the rotator part. We do cover the whole stack from the rotators, antennas, everything. And all this is open hardware and open source. So you can build it yourself. You can download the, the designs and build it yourself. Who designed the system? Uh, I did. You too? You are the designers? You, you made this? I just uh, designed it. Yes. Good job. Is Arduino? No. This is Arduino, this is an Arduino, Arduino. this is the motor drivers, and uh, usually this is, this is connected with the Raspberry Pi uh -huh. control. Now I'm connected, I'm connected with my laptop. <laughs> and uh, in the Raspberry Pi there is a client which communicates with the network part and picks up jobs. Satellite was launched from ISS Thursday morning at 4.30 in the morning, uh, Eastern Time. My ground station is in Indiana, and uh, about uh, 5.19 in the morning, made its first pass over my house. Um, I was in bed, my ground station was automatically commanded to collect that data, uh, which it did. Collected the pass, and automatically tracked it, did all of the Doppler correction on the frequency, and uploaded it, and now we have you know, the first CW beacons and the first FSK 9600 baud beacons from that satellite. Audio file is here for download and use by the uh, satellite operators and researchers. Our next step in this software evolution is to take that audio and then actually decode the telemetry so that you would not only have the waterfall and the audio, but you would also have the data here automatically uh, decoded as well. I'd say another six months and we'll have that done. Uh, and that data also goes into our crowdsource uh, database for satellites. So this is a database that we invite all amateurs and satellite operators to help us you know, come in here and, and get this, uh, keep this stuff up to date. And uh, telemetry data would also go into here for all these satellites as well. All right. Is there any other special equipment that I have? Uh, Raspberry Pi, RTL SDR. Um, right now, uh, uh, Linux experience. Um, the software is not quite like an appliance. It's not quite turnkey. But uh, install it if you've got Raspberry Pi experience, Linux experience, or SDR, and a uh, LNA, low noise amplifier at the, the actual antenna site, uh, really makes a difference. Yeah. We've got some that, I mean, these, the 440 CubeSats are a pretty weak signal. So, Yagi antenna and LNA. Have you ever made a road trip to the National Radio Observatory in West Virginia? No, but I, I yeah, the quiet zone in there. Yeah, you know, and their receiver, what is it? What we don't expect is receivers. Around uh, the Well, we are collecting some decoded telemetry data, like some of the satellites. We've got tens of thousands of data packets already into our database. Uh, we're also working on software to then build dashboards for those so you can visualize it here on the website.